Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have the Patriot Javelin S4. This is a four bay NAS. So if you don't know what a NAS is, then bear with us. We'll explain it over the course of the episode. And it features a very complete feature set, a lot of very neat software that is included with the Javelin and a lot of cool functionality besides the fact that it supports four bays and up to three terabyte hard drives. So yes, four bays, 12 terabytes of total storage inside this S4 that's right in front of me here. Now, I did an unboxing of the S4 already on my Linus Tech Tips channel, but we're gonna do a quick physical overview of the unit before we get too far into this. So, the first thing you're gonna see on the front is the compatible with Windows 7 sticker here, although it is not only compatible with Windows 7, it's also Time Machine compatible, so you can use it with your Apple computer. We've also got a DLNA sticker. Yes, it is fully UPnP and DLNA certified. You can see some ventilation holes here, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door where you'll see ventilation holes on the inside. And then also the four three terabyte drives, including a little Ziploc bag, which has a key in it. So there you go, I'll pull that out, I'll show you guys later. Four three terabyte drives for a total of 12 gigs of raw storage. So these are Hitachi 7200 RPM drives, which means you're gonna be getting great performance as well as great reliability and huge storage. I can't emphasize that enough. Huge storage, small box. So moving down this side, we see uh, indicator LEDs for each of the four separate hard drives. We see a diagnostic LED as well as a LAN activity LED. And finally, we've got the key, which is going to allow you to lock that front door so people can't just come along and be like, yoink! three terabyte drive for me, yay. Uh, and then also we have a one touch backup button here which is for grandma or auntie or uncle or whoever it is where you've configured a Javelin S4 for them and you don't want to hear about it anymore after you've configured it and you just want them to press one button and make things happen that they want to happen. I mean, don't just make random things happen, that's bad. Okay, so on the back we see our cooling fan. We've also got our power input, our gigabit ethernet. We've got eSATA, and this is cool. These two USB ports can be used as a print server, so that way your printer can be accessible by every computer in the house, regardless of whether the computer it's attached to is on, because it'll be attached to the Javelin S4, which will always be on. And then you can also use it as your one-touch backup for even an external hard drive. Pretty cool, right? So if uh, you know auntie or uncle or grandma has an external hard drive, I mean, okay, hypothetically, they have an external hard drive they carry around with them, they're concerned about losing it or about it getting damaged, I've broken a fair number of external hard drives. You tend to toss them around. You just throw it on here periodically, press your one-touch backup, backs up all of your data to the Javelin S4 where you're running RAID, which we'll talk about as well. And your data is secure and safe. So speaking of RAID, we do have 12 terabytes of raw storage in here, but I do have it configured in RAID 5, which means that any one of these drives can fail and all we have to do is replace it, rebuild the array, and we are good to go. Now, you do lose some of your storage space, but I personally feel it is well worth the sacrifice of a disk worth of storage space in order to have that redundancy and that data safety. So now let's talk software. The Javelin S4 can do almost anything, it seems. So I mentioned that it's fully DLNA and UPnP certified, and it works with Apple Time Machine. It also works with the Logitech Squeeze Box. You can stream media to your Android device or your iOS device, whether you want to use a browser-based interface or an app-based interface. And last but not least, I know there's one more. Yes, it works as an iTunes server as well. So you can access all of your iTunes content from the Javelin S4 without any difficulty. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat. I'm gonna look over there and yes, it does automated home PC backups so you can schedule those. It also has full BitTorrent client integration. And last but not least, you can use it to manage your data in an intelligent way. So if you do have a Javelin S4 set up, at your home. You can make it so little Johnny has, uh, you know, 700 gigs of storage and little Sally, well, she only listens to music. She doesn't really download movies, so she only gets, you know, the 200 gigs of storage. However you want to manage your data, you have the ability through the Patriot software, which we're going to show you briefly a little bit later, so there's the dashboard, to configure how exactly you want to manage your data. 
So once you enter your username and password, you get greeted by the S4 dashboard. It self-detects your S4 on your network, which makes life really, really easy. I, this is actually one of the least hassle NASs that I have set up, and I've set up quite a few, in terms of automatically detecting it and configuring it correctly just right out of the box. I was really pleased with that. So the first thing you're going to see is the Smart Sync tab. This allows you to back up your data to, uh, there you go, which S4 you want and which folder you want to back it up to. So you can manage all of your folders. All you have to do in order to pick a folder that you want to back up is take it, there's my one gig test folder, which I was looking for earlier, drag it in there. You can either schedule it, back it up immediately, you can restore it, you can see your list of schedules, and you can even monitor your progress all within the smart sync. So that makes configuring what to back up and when very, very simple. You can also see within here the basic system information where you can see how many drives are installed. Remember too, you can configure additional drives through the ports off the back, so that's why there are placeholders there. You can see my RAID level is RAID 5, which means I have slight redundancy but not full redundancy, so I will have to rebuild the array if I do lose a drive. And my capacity, out of my 12 terabytes, I'm left with about 9 terabytes. Remember, there's some... some discrepancies in terms of how the hard drive manufacturers measure capacity and how the OS's measure capacity. So next we go to the setup wizard. Pretty much once you've done this once, don't touch it. It will reformat everything and reset everything to factory default. So set it up once. It's really easy. You just click one click setup and you're done. So yeah, pretty much do not touch. No touchy. Okay, share folders. So here you can set up your share folders whether you want to have it be accessible through the web interface or whether you just want to organize things in terms of how they are categorized. You can also mount additional share folders using the button down here. Media Center and Photo Album. So you can use these to manage the various media files that are located on your S4 and you can play them back as well. Last but not least, LAT NAS management. So here you can set up a variety of different things, including your network settings. This is mostly for advanced users. You can also shut down the unit and you can add additional plugins. Now, one of the cool things Patriot has provided with the Javelin S4 is a full source code for the unit, which means they are encouraging users to write their own plugins and apps and write their own functionality into this device. It has processing power to spare. So, you're getting what you're getting now, but there's a lot of potential for something like the Javelin S4 to improve in the future. So last but not least, I just want a quick message about backup in general. Backup is so important. Any hard drive or any SSD can die at any time. And I don't mean that to be like a scare tactic or a scare speech, but it's true. What are you going to lose if your hard drive dies on your computer tomorrow? Are you going to lose your taxes information for the last few years? Are you going to lose your photos? You, what are you going to lose? I don't know. It all depends on you. So backup is important. And redundancy within a system that is RAID 1 is not backup. So you have a separate backup unit, but that still doesn't protect you from certain things. What about in the event of a flood or a fire? The Javelin has a really cool feature that actually takes care of that. So you can back up your Javelin to another Javelin remotely. Now it's going to be slow. It's going to be relying on your internet connection. You want to do that maybe once a week. I mean, depending on your data through your ISP. But you can actually locate one somewhere else entirely. So you can back up all your computers to your Javelin. You back up your Javelin to another Javelin and you are pretty much protected no matter what happens. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks and product overviews and other good stuff from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.